In this lesson, we're going to be going over an introduction to finance, right? So let's start off with the definition. I'm going to use a very, very simplified definition that's going to make it easy to understand. So finance is the study of managing money and making financial decisions. So you have money, you, you got to be able to manage it. And in order to manage money or anything really in life, you have to be able to make decisions about how you manage it. So in finance, you're making financial decisions, okay? Now, it involves the management of assets, liabilities, investments, and financial risk. So these are all things that you can engage in when you have money or if you are managing money. Now, finance is essential for individuals, businesses, governments to allocate and utilize their resources effectively. Now, everyone uses finance, right? Whether you're an individual, you are a business, you are a government, you, you have to be able to, uh, you know, to, to, to use finance. You have to be able to manage finances. You have to be able to, uh, to utilize that knowledge to manage your resources effectively. You've seen a lot of governments that, you know, aren't managing their finances properly. You see them decline because finance is a cornerstone of society, right? Now, some of the key areas in finance include, you know, personal finance, if we're talking about individuals, uh, corporate finance, if we're talking about corporations, right? And we also have public finance, if we're talking about governments. Now, personal finance focuses on managing an individual's income, expenses, savings, investments uh, to achieve financial goals. Now, this is probably the most important for most people. If you cannot manage your own personal finance, you're probably not going to be able to manage finances of a corporation, finances of a, of a government, right? This is the most important thing. You know, you have to be able to make, you know, the financial decisions when it comes to your income and you, you have to be able to make the right ones. And you also have, you know, expenses. You have to be able to know how you're spending your money, where you, where every dollar is going pretty much. And you also have to be able to save, you know, you save money in order to make big purchases such as a house and things like that. You know, you also have investments. You have to be able to invest your money so your money works for you. Now, we also have corporate finance, right? So corporate finance deals with uh, financial decisions made by businesses such as capital budgeting, investment analysis, as well as uh, financial planning, right? So first we have the individual. Now we have a corporate company, right? How does a corporate company function when they make money? What do they do with the money? Do they have to reinvest it into the business? And what is the potential return for uh, for that investment, right? Do they give the CEOs uh, bonuses, you know, and how much are they going to give in bonuses? Now, do they still, you know, how much are they paying taxes? You know, these are things that all go into corporate finance, you know, whether the budgeting for the next year, financial planning, if you're planning for, you know, all your expenses that you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to accrue next year. These are things that can be projected through corporate finance or some of the skills that you will learn in corporate finance. Now, we also have public finance, uh, which involves managing the financial affairs of governments, including revenue generation, budgeting, public expenditure. So that's where you have your your local taxes or maybe federal taxes. You also have, you know, you know, they have to decide, you know, if we want to rebuild this bridge or a road you know, that has to be placed into a budget. The money has to come from somewhere. Someone has to manage, you know, that asset allocation. You know, we need to allocate more money to homeless shelters. You know, where does the money come from? Taxing, uh, taxing people. Uh, how do we, how much do we actually tax people, right? These are all things that can be learned in finance. Some of the most important things in finance, you know, these are things you always need to remember risk and return, right? Risk, risk, Risk and return are fundamental concepts in finance. Investments are evaluated based on the potential return they offer and relative to the associated risk. OK, now we can go back to the individual uh, finance, corporate finance, public finance. If you're managing money, you are taking risk and you are expecting a return. So if I'm going to put money into an investment, it might be your stock. I am expecting a return, right? It might be 10%, 5%, 100%. But with that return also comes risk, right? So if you're putting money into the stock market, there's a chance that you're going to make a return or there's a chance that you are going to lose money, right? So where there's a return, there is risk. So the higher the return, the higher the risk. So these are two most crucial and important things in finance, risk and return. Even if a business is investing in something, they're expecting a return from that, 
but they're also taking on risk. Okay. Now the last part of this introduction is going to be uh, financial institutions such as banks, uh, insurance companies, investment firms. These financial institutions provide various financial services and products to individuals and business. So these are actually the main drivers of providing financial products that individual use businesses use governments use. So these financial institutions are very, very important in finance. All right. So that was the introduction of finance, which is very simplified. So some of the things we covered was the definition of finance. I uh, also covered, you know, some of the things that are involved in finance, such as assets, liabilities, investments, and risk itself. And also we covered, you know, who finance, who uses finance, individuals, governments, businesses. These are all entities that use finance. And we also talked about the concept of risk and return as well as financial institutions that provide financial products for everyone to use. And that is pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.